Hey, what's going on, Mark? We'll be getting started soon, brother.
All right, good evening, everybody. This is Shane. Guys may know me by now as uh, one of the most talkative ones. Good evening. How's it going, everybody? All right, all right, all right. Is that Mike? Yes, sir. How are you? Doing great, Mike. Doing great, doing great. Can't complain at all, man. You guys ready for the snow tomorrow? Uh, well, I'm going to raise my volume. I can't hear anything. Why? I hear you, but it's kind of low. I'm just going to try to see if I could raise this. Okay. Other than that, by the grace of God, everything is good, man. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. Most definitely. Most definitely. And uh, by the way, uh, brother, I think I might be uh, up and running because I was able to put in uh, the trades that you sent in today um, with the signal. Right, right. And I see it matching up to the um, trader's way. So Sweet. I think I'm good to go. Sweet. That's good. That's good. That's good. But there's a will, there's a way. All right. So I'm going to mute everybody as we get started. Let me just see. We have, All right. We have Cassandra. We have uh, Mark. And we have Mike. Awesome. Guys, Just get, I know Cassandra is just getting started with us. And Mark is just getting started with us. Mark is off to a, I hear you off to a fast start, Mark, with the uh, sharing the opportunity. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm trying, you know. <laughs> fantastic opportunity, and I'm trying to share with everybody I know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not wasting no time. I think you got about two people already signed up under you. Yes, sir. It should be three. By tomorrow, it should be three. Should be three. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really living by that motto of you can help enough people get what they want. You can have anything in the world that you want. That's right. That's right. Most definitely. Most definitely. And with that being said, now your platform is free. You don't, you know, your subscription monthly is coming right back to you. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a <laughs> right that's, back to you. That's a gravy on the meat, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what it's all about. We really don't want anybody having to pay out anything. It's, this opportunity is all about making money. So that's why we love the partnership we have with National Wealth Center because, I mean, where can you go in, when it comes to affiliate marketing or network marketing and refer one person and you break even? Just one person and you break even with the opportunity. So, uh, you know, you're taking full advantage of it. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I mean, we're not all about recruiting. We're not saying go out there and recruit the world because the Forex alone is, I mean, $5.3 trillion a day market. That alone puts you in a position where you can make an unlimited amount of money. But, you know, for those who do decide to take advantage of the affiliate marketing, there's a lot of money to be made on that side as well. And, you know, we say you don't have to focus on it because as you get going, the results are going to speak for itself. I mean, you know, you could literally go to your friends, uh, family members, loved ones, and simply show them your profits right off of your MetaTrader 4 app, and that'll speak for itself. That'll speak for itself. All right. So we'll get going uh, tonight, guys. Uh, like I said, again, I want to welcome everyone who just started with us over the last couple of weeks. I know Mike, you've been here for a couple of weeks and look out for Mike, guys. Mike calls me, he asks questions just the way he should. And I like those kind of things because that shows that that person is not messing around, that that person is taking the opportunity seriously. And so, uh, you know, look out for Mike as we move forward to be hitting those goals that he has set for himself. So, God willing, brother. God willing. From your mouth to God's ears, man. I have a baby to take care of, man. So, you know, I can't play around. I understand, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're almost a newborn, right? Three months old. No, 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 no. Um, a year and three months. A year? Oh, that's, that's still new. Well, my, Absolutely. My youngest is eight years old now, so to me, that's still new, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And I must say, the rest of you guys, you're not messing around either because, you know, these uh, these webinars, you guys are taking out the time that you could be doing other things. I mean, this is not a mandatory thing. I mean, you guys are business owners at this point in time. Uh, once you join a Na uh, National Wealth Center, that made you a business owner where you can open up an LLC, file your taxes and everything as a business owner. So you pretty much do what you please. You know, you don't have a boss here. But to see you taking your, 
you know, your future in your own hands and I won't say sacrificing the time, but putting in the time to make it happen, that's an awesome sight to see. These are the type of people I like to be around. You guys are the type of people that, uh, you know, as we go forward in life, potentially we'll be doing some big things together, you know, outside of Forex as we grow. Because that's what our community is about. You know, we use the Forex to leverage off the Forex so that we can do other great things. I'm sure you guys may have skill sets or talents or connections that could take us even further, maybe in real estate or who knows. You guys hear me doing the music thing, you guys might have some connections for me or something. <laughs> so yeah, that's a great thing to see. So as we get started tonight, tonight is gonna be all about the art of taking signals. As you guys know, we have this platform set up with the signals as our bread and butter to put you in a position so that you're able to learn as you earn. Give me one second, let me get my phone charging. Sorry, I said that the wrong way. Usually it's learn as you earn, but here is the other way around. Earn as you learn so that you're able to earn immediately as you learn um, this Forex market. Okay, so that's why we said, you know, let's, let's set up a signal service. Let's let these guys follow our signals and make the money, even though they don't even know what they're doing. But they know how to take the signal, so they're able to be in profits. And that's why we, that's what this, you know, that's, that's how we have that signal service set up. Now, you guys, hopefully you have a pen and a paper tonight so you can take notes. You won't be that long because what I have to teach you really doesn't take that long um, when it comes to taking signals. You're going to realize even when we post those signals in the channel, after you get comfortable with your MetaTrader 4 application on your phone, it'll take you less than a minute to go put in a signal and get back to doing what you're doing. You know, you will probably spend more time on your phone, on your social media apps and things of that nature, but at least you have that one extra app that says this app right here allows me to make money. You know, it's all about turning those cell phones into like what we like to say ATM machines. And ever since I've been introduced to Forex, I mean, it's just an awesome thing. You know, the sky is truly the limit. I mean, what industry can you go and as long as you have an internet connection, you could be anywhere in the world and make money. I mean, I remember last year I went to Mexico and before the plane even landed, you know, as the plane lands, you start to get a connection. You don't even have to be on the ground. Like, you, like as you get under the satellites, I guess, you start to get a connection on your phone. And it just felt awesome being able to be on the plane in Mexico Look at my phone and see the profits ringing in. And when you guys start to realize that and you're going on your vacations or you're doing whatever you're doing and you're clocking those profits, you guys want to get some of the same satisfaction that a lot of the guys on the Highway to Freedom has already uh, received. Okay? So to start off, you guys probably saw me put in the Telegram because I know you guys are wanna, you're going to want to learn as you earn as well. You're going to want to know what you're doing. You don't want to just be led blind. I know I'm like that. When I started Forex, you know, I had mentors and they would say, okay, Shane, put this position in. And they told me how to follow signals. But I was the type of person that I was like, Mike, I'm asking the questions, you know? <laughs> you know? Uh, and I wanted to know why am I selling this right here? What is a pip? What is a trend? You know, what's the daily chart? I wanted to know why. I think sometimes my, my mentor would get a little uh, impatient with me at times. He's like, just take the signal, man. You want to make the way. But why am I doing that? And so I want to encourage you all for your introductory to Forex to go to that website I put in the telegram. It's called babypips.com. www.babypips, P-I-P-S dot com very 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 popular website in the forex community a lot of traders most traders when they start off they use that website to get the basic understanding of the terminology that goes on in this industry 
uh, you will realize, you know, starting off, it's like we're speaking a new language. You know, when we start talking about the day chart is uh, turned up, we want to look for a retracement on the hour chart, then the hour turns back up. You're like, what are they talking about? And don't let that terminology intimidate you. Because trust me, I was in your same shoes. But as we go, it starts to sink in. That's what happens. Just like any other language. I mean, if you were to move to China, I don't know if any of you guys speak Chinese, the Chinese language. But, you know, if we were sitting around Chinese folks and they were speaking the language, we probably would be like, what in the world? But if you were to be in China for a while, you would start to pick up on things, you know? You would, it would just be naturally. And that's the beautiful part about our community, talking out some of the trades. Uh, sometimes I'll throw a little nuggets in the telegram, like the charts I showed you today. You take, the, take a look at those charts, read the little words that I put in there. And if there's something that you don't understand about the chart, ask the question in the group. Not just me, you have a, a few other traders that have been with us for a while. Somebody will get back and answer those questions that you have. But I'm referring you to babypips.com because it really breaks down to the basics all the way to what is a pip you know and it, it goes all the way up to the advanced courses as well it's it's put together very nicely and you know being that we really don't focus as much on the basics that's where you would go though to get those basics and if you have questions that can't be answered on the baby pips or something that you really don't understand then again you throw it in the community and we'll get those answers answered for you. As well as this charts that you see, uh, I throw in there from time to time. If there's something you wanna know a little bit more about, ask and you shall receive. As well, uh, you all should be, at this point in time, you should be subscribed to our YouTube channel, H2F Signals. You can search it on YouTube, H2F Signals. We give a lot of the educational videos there on the strategies that we use um, with our trading. There's one video that you want to definitely, as you progress, definitely keep close. And you can watch this video every week until you've mastered the art of multiple time frame analysis. Multiple time frame analysis. And that's a video by Joseph Nemeth. It's called How to Kick I'm going to curse how to kick ass in the Forex markets. That's the name of the uh, YouTube video. And he breaks down the strategy that we use with the D1 chart as your master direction, the H1 chart as your trend, and using a Ranko chart for your entry. And, you know, as you watch the videos again, if you have questions, throw it in the group. There's another video that I did for the team. We had a meeting one night and I recorded it. And it actually teaches you how to set up your charts so that you can have a D1 chart, a H1 chart, and an entry chart. So you have a D1 master direction chart, a H1 trend chart, and a Renko for your entry. It teaches you how to actually set it up. So once you watch the one video by Joseph Nemeth, then you go to that video to learn how to set it up in details. Once you have watch that video i put another video on there it's called the bus the driver and the seat pretty popular one with the guys which teaches you the essence of multiple time frame analysis and i use the analogy of the bus the driver and the seat in an effort to make the understanding easy for everyone so those are three videos that I definitely recommend out of our YouTube channel as you progress uh, through this journey that we take that should be able to help you uh, get caught up and get going with us so that, you know, eventually you guys, I may not see something and you say, yo, Shane, look at the AUD USD. I think there's a buy. I think there's a sell, blah, 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 you know, and uh, we could all be on the same page. All right. So to get started with the art of taking signals, uh, guys, I have you on mute right now, but there is a chat chat option on the Zoom. So if you have questions as we go, 
I will see a highlight on my screen that says somebody wants to chat and I'll I'll check out what you're saying and I'll answer, you know, I'll answer it as we go. There's also a way that you can raise your hand like you're in class and something pops up on my screen that shows me that you raised your hand. And then I, you know, I can open up your mic and let you speak or whatever the case might be. All right. So uh, to start off, everyone should have the MetaTrader 4 app downloaded on your phone. Uh, if you don't, well, does everyone have that, that MetaTrader 4 app? Download your phone. Jeffrey, I know you do. Ivan, I know you do. Mark, have you got a mic? I know you do. Mark, have you got a chance to download that MetaTrader 4 app on your phone? Let's check out the chat here. Cassandra, okay, Cassandra does as well, okay. Mark does, okay, you guys are sharp, man. Man, I love when we have groups like this. You guys are on point. Okay, so you have the MetaTrader 4 app on your phone. Now, once you get that app on your phone, usually the difficulty that I would find with folks is the ability to connect your Traders Awake account to the MetaTrader 4 app so that, you know, so that it's connected, so that whatever's going on in your Traders Awake is being connected to your application on your phone. Has anyone had trouble connecting their Traders Way account to their MetaTrader 4 app on their phone? Has everybody been able to do that as of yet? Uh, Jeffrey, I know you have it. Mike, I know you just told me you have it. Uh, Ivan, I know you, you're rocking and rolling with us. Cassandra and Mark, have you been able to connect though, connect the meta, the Traders Way account to the phone? And let me explain that because see what happens is Traders Way is the is the broker that we use. Now in this industry, there are many brokers out there. There are many brokers. There's uh, uh, FX. Uh, what what is that? There's many brokers. FX, what's this called? FX, FXCM. Uh, you have Ninja Trader. There are many brokers out there that you could connect to your MetaTrader 4 app. MetaTrader 4 is a basic trading uh, platform, but there are many brokers that use the, the MetaTrader 4 app. So I see that Cassandra and Mark haven't been able to connect it at this point. If you go on your app, let me take, I have to find a way to connect my app to the computer so you guys can literally see my phone, but I'm just going to talk it out to you for right now. If you go on your app on the top left side, there's like three lines. If you hit the lines, you'll find something that says manage accounts, or there's a way that you can add accounts or a plus sign or something like that. You would click in there. And after you click manage accounts, there's a plus sign at the top. You hit the plus, and you're going to have three options. One says start without registration. Without registration. The other says open a personal demo account. Choose among, see right there it even says it, choose among 1,487 brokers. See what I mean? There's many brokers out there. Then the other says log in to an existing account. What you guys are going to do is log into your existing account. Once you click on log into your existing account, there's gonna be like a magnifying glass where it says find your broker. Basically what you're gonna do is type in Trader's Way. Type in Trader's Way. And you should all have a demo account at this point in time. And if you don't have the live account yet, you should at least be in the verification process because it doesn't come through immediately. There is a verification process where it takes a couple of days for them basically to verify your bank. All right. But uh, you want to connect your demo account and your live account. So at that part where it says find broker, for one instance, you're going to type in Traders Way Live. Once you do that, uh, the Traders Way icon will pop up the tri the red triangle and you will just hit it then it will give you an option to type in your what is it your password and your account number 
your account number and your password was emailed to you from Trader's Way. So you just go in your email and put that information that they sent you for your account. Your demo, then the same thing for your demo. You would type Trader's Way demo, then they're gonna ask you for your account number and your password. And it's pretty easy, pretty easy there for that. If you have any trouble, uh, uh, let me see, we got a chat right here. If you have any trouble doing that, refer to your sponsor. Okay, Cassandra has it already. Like I said, it's not that hard, it's not that hard. But if you were to have any trouble, refer to your sponsor or throw a question in the group. Like I said, we're a community. Uh, young man Jordan out of Texas this morning, he's having a little bit of trouble connecting his uh, bank account. And he threw it in the group and we did our best to help him out. So um, it's pretty easy though once or call your sponsor, or, you know, and we'll be able to get you going. All right. So that's how you connect those two. And then once you have them connected, you will be able to switch from your demo account to your live account on your MetaTrader 4 app. Okay. Mark says can't find broker. Trader's way. You got to make sure you type in Trader's way as one word. That's key as well. Because if you type it as two words, it's not going to pop up. But type Trader's way as one word. Then a separate word will be live or demo. And I know a young man I was working with at one time, he said, I'm typing in Trader's, a couple of people, I'm typing in Trader's Way, it's not there, it's not there. I'm like, there's only one Trader's Way, but they were used, they were spacing it out. <laughs> so it's little things like that that you have to make sure. All right. And if not, Mark, we'll get you going. Oh, boom, there you go, you got it, you got it. That's probably what it was doing, uh, two words, okay? All right, so now you have the app, and so let's go to what the signals look like. By now, you guys probably have seen uh, some signals come through. I think I put about five signals in there this morning. And when those signals come through, they look like this. In this case right here, we were buying the U.S. dollar versus the Canadian dollar. Babypips.com is going to break these things down, what the CAD means, what the USD stands for. But this is the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, and we were buying it. Now, when we're buying something in the market, when we're buying a position, we're basically saying we are expecting the market to go up. Simple as that. Let me pull up our chart here. Let me find the USD CAD. Do I have it up on this chart? Oh, there we go. So if I'm buying the USD CAD, like this case right here, we see the USD, this is the H4 chart. That's the H4 chart. You got your time frames over here, H1, H4, D1. And basically what this is symbolizing, I'm going to the teacher. I can't, I'm just like a natural teacher, but basically what this is saying, each one of these candles, these are candlesticks. So if I'm on a D1 chart, each one of these candles represents one day worth of action. If I go to an H4, each one of these candles represent four hours worth of action. If I go to an H1 chart, each one of these candles represents one hour worth of action. So it's like having a GPS where you're zooming in and zooming out from the earth. You know, you look at your, you can look at the, you can look at the whole earth, it goes a little bit deeper, you look at the continents, go a little bit deeper, you look at the countries, go a little bit deeper, you look at the states, deeper and deeper and deeper, all the way down to the minute time frame where each one of these candles represent one minute worth of action, okay? So that's a little bit of education there. But back to what we were saying. So if I'm buying the USD CAD, basically all we're saying is that we expect the market to go up. So this is my demo account. I'm gonna show you how you would do this with your MetaTrader 4 on your computer, because. As you know, guys, you can trade off your computer as well, obviously. Now, we really focus on that on your cell phones a lot because we understand sometimes it's going to be at work, in the car, or, you know, wherever. At least with your phone, boom, you're not missing anything. You don't have to say, oh, I can't trade until I get home. No. You're literally making money anywhere. You're, you're like live action, ready to go anywhere, anytime. So if I wanted to buy this USD CAD right now, Boom. On the computer, it would be like this. I can just click buy. Uh, boom. And as we see, I brought that market right here. And as this price, you see this price over here on the right side? 
right? Currently, it's at 1.00765. That's where the current price of the US dot, well, this is the USD CHF, sorry. What we use this for an example. For the USD CHF, so uh, as this price goes up above this green line, I start going into profits. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, let me click out of this. Bye. Let's just close it. I'm going to close it. <clears throat> okay, now if we were selling the market, and this is a good one because a couple of folks asked me this question. I think, uh, Mike, you asked me this question, and Jeff, today you hit me up and asked me this question. And it's a, a very legit question. Very legit. And they said, so Shane, if we're selling it, that means we have to already own it for us to sell it, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's, it makes sense, the question. But if we're selling in the Forex, all that means is that we expect the market to go down. That's it. Think about it. If you're going to the store and you're buying something and it's on sell, 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 clearance, sell. We got to sell over here. We got to sell. What does that mean? That means they dropped the price from what the price originally was. So you can think about your forex trading in that manner. So in the group, if I put in a trade, in this case, let's say I put, I'm selling the USDCAD. You would go to your MetaTrader 4 app, you would find the USDCAD pair, and you would click sell. I'm gonna show you how to do that on your app as well. I got a screenshot for that. But in the case of the computer, and what I'm doing to pull this up, I'm right clicking. I'm right clicking in my screen. I'm clicking one click trading. You see it disappeared when I clicked it. But if I want to bring it back, I right click again, click on one click trading. Boom. And I would click sell. Okay. Sell by the market. And basically, as the price goes below, I'm in the profits. Simple as that. Simple as that. Buying is going up, selling, we want the market to go down. In this case right here, based off the hour time frame, I'm expecting this USD market to go play up because we can see the candles already giving us formations to the long side. Now, if I go to the D1 time frame, we can see it's going down. So what's happening is this market is retracing on the hour. The smaller time frame is retracing up, but I expect it to retrace up some, but then play back down with the overall time frame. We'll, the videos explain what that's all about. You know, like I said, I can't help but to teach. I get into teaching, but I gotta remember, change the signals, teach the signals. <laughs> I gotta put myself down sometimes. All right, so we got, we got that. Any questions on buying and selling? Pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. All right. Now, let's take a look at what that looks like on your phone. This is what your MetaTrader 4 looks like. And if you go, first thing you have to do is obviously find the pair, right? I say I'm buying USDCAD. Where is this pair? If you look on your application at the bottom, you should see something that looks like this right here, the arrow. If you click that button, let me go on my phone as well. Let's go on my phone and see exactly what it says. If you click that button, you should see a list of pairs come down your screen. And sometimes you might, we might put a, a signal in and you can't find the pair on your app. Well, also, you should see a plus sign at the top of your screen. So if you click that plus sign, and you should see something that says ECN, and you should see something that says energies. I think the wording might be a little bit different from an iPhone to an Android, but it's pretty much the same, you know, same thing. So if you click on ECN, then you have a list of the other pairs that are not actually in that list. If you hit that pair, then it will go to the list. And once it's in your list, that original list, it never goes out. So you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to find it again. And what I did, you know, what you can do is just click them all. Click them all so they're all always in the list. So when it's time for you to find a pair, 
it's already there. You don't have to worry about clicking on the plus sign. Energies would be like oil, WCI crew. Uh, once you guys get your accounts up to $1,500 plus, we have a separate group where we put in signals for the higher, the commodity trades and the energy trades. For like example, we do trade gold, we trade uh, oil, we trade silver and things of that nature. But those pairs, the minimum lot size, you need a little bit more money in your account in order to trade those. And so that's why I don't put those type of signals in the regular signal channel. We're gonna talk about the pathway to predictable profits. If you guys were on our uh, orientation, not the orientation, but our webinar, the, the opportunity overview webinar, you heard Femi talk about the pathway to predictable profits with the P394X system that we have which will actually show you if I started with $200 or $100, you can mark down the date on your calendar and say, by this time, I should be at the $1,500 mark or the 2000 or whatever the case might be. And we'll touch on that a little bit later, all right? So again, to find a pair, just hit that button, a list of pairs will show up and you just click on the pair. If you hold on the pair, let me just go in here and tell you exactly what it's gonna say. If you hold down the pair, there's an option that pops up. One says new order, one says open the chart, one says simple properties, and one says simple view mode. So if you want to open up a position, you want to put a cell on it, basically you would click new order. Now, when you click new order, you're gonna see something like this that pops up. Okay, you're gonna see something that like, looks like that right there. And so this takes me to the next part of the signals taken. So we have, we know the difference in buying and selling. We know how to find our pairs. Next is the price. The price. So this right here is where you will find the current price of the market. One stands for the bid, one stands for the ask. This is not as important knowing the difference in the bid and the ask just because you see this not that far off. Once you go to babypips.com, they'll, they'll break down the difference in the bid and the ask. Basically, this spread right here is how your broker makes money for allowing you to use their, uh, their trading platform. They put a spread between it. So it's like a few, you see it's like, like one cent in this case, very, but, you know, trade after trade after trade, that's how they make their money, okay? But at this current point, the price of this pair was 1.2490, 1.2490, okay? So after you find the pair, after you go to the point where you click in the new order, you want to look at the price where the current price of the market is. Now, the reason I say I emphasize that, because what happens is sometimes people get excited. Oh man, we got a signal, baby. I gotta get in. I gotta get in. I don't want to miss any money. And they say we're buying USDCAD. They go to their app and they pull it up right here, and they just automatically click buy. They don't look at the price. Oh, wrong way. They don't look at the price or anything. They just click buy. And the reason this is important is because. There should be two options, two results that you guys are getting. One, you should be getting the same results as me, the signal provider is putting in, or better results. Let me explain what I mean by that. So, let's say I'm buying this right here. And let's say the current price, I'm buying it, right? And let's say by the time you got to your application or by the time I put it in the signal channel, the price had ran away already and it was up here somewhere. The price was above it. So if you put a buy-in right here and let's say I clo we close this pair out up here. Let me, let me tell you what that is in pips. So the entry price was 1.00753. And the price moved up, that's 157 pips. That, that number in the middle says 1573. You leave off the last digit 
and it'd be 157 pips total. I said, guys, close the USD CHF 157 pips profit. And we're like, whoop, whoop, everybody decided, whoop, 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 yay, yay, yay. But you, the price was here when you clicked the entry. And by the time you got out of the repair, we got 157 pips, but you only got 83 pips. And so you're like, wait a minute, what's going on? These guys are running a scam on me. I didn't get 157 pips. What's going on? It'd be because you didn't take the time to look at the price before you got in the trade. Now, 83 pips is still good. And I'm, these are exaggerated numbers. One, this is a daily chart. So the market doesn't move that fast. It'll take a couple of days before it really got up to that point. But I'm just giving you an example of, obviously, if you didn't look at the price before entering the trade, and you just jumped in and the price happened to already leave the station. That's how we like to call it. The, the price has left the station already. And you don't want to chase the bus or you'll get smoke in your face. I'm going to explain the smoke in your face part in a second. But if you're not judging, but gauging where you're getting in based on the current price, then you're not going to get the same results that we're getting or that I'm posting in the signals channel when it's time to close out the trade. Okay? Now. Like I said, hey, you got 83 pips. Hey, the group got 157 pips. That's still not a bad thing. When you get those accounts up to $10,000 and you start taking standard lots, 83 pips is still $830. So you're not mad. You know, oh, I didn't get 1,500. I got 830. I'm not mad. Or if you have a, um, a mini account, uh, 83 pips is $85. Or if you have a micro account, 83 pips, is $8.30. I mean, you know, you're not mad. $8.30 on $100, you still made a 8% gain on your account. And we look for 5% a day. But the point I'm trying to make is you want to get the same results or better. So what we want to do, let's say I was buying the USD CHF. You want to wait until the price, because a lot of times the price, like I said, it will move up. But price is always moving around. See this? See how that digit is moving? 741, 742. You know, a couple of seconds going to move again. Let's give it a second. Let's see. Let's see if we can get for the move. Okay, the market's slow right now. But you know, you want to wait for that price. If it, let's say it went up, went up here. So let me go to a smaller time frame so you can see what I'm talking about. See how it's moving? You can see the movement a little bit more now. But let's say I was buying right here. Now, the price is actually below the entry. And again, if the price was above it, you want to wait till the market comes back down to where I put in the signals or go below like what we're seeing right now. Now, if you took this entry right now, perfect. No problem. Hey, if the price is below where I put in the signals and I say buy it, go ahead and buy it. Go ahead and buy it. Because guess what? In that case, when, if I closed out 150 cents, well, let's say I closed out up here. Now, that amount right there is equivalent to 55 pips. It's a smaller time frame, so you're not going to – let me get a, a little higher time frame. Something more realistic. We try to go for 50 pips of trade. Sometimes we get more, sometimes we get less. All right, so let's say I closed out at about, we got a lot more than that. Let's say we'll go to a 15 minute. See what I'm doing? Going higher time frames, and you see the difference in you know, the pips. Give you more, basically, you're zooming out. That's all I'm doing, zooming out based on the time frame, though. So let's say we closed out up here, and that's boom, look, about 50 pips exactly. So we closed out 50 pips, but you entered the trade. By the time you went to your, your app and the price was down here. So in the signals channel, I put 1.00747. But when you entered the trade, the price was actually down here, seven pips below. So when I close out, instead of uh, you closing out at 50 pips, guess what? You got better results because you closed out on 57 pips. 
You understand? So that's always putting you in a position where you're getting more profits than what I'm actually signaling in the group. I see we have a question. One second. Or a comment. Can you please send the P90 chart? I never got it. Yes, Mike, I'm going to be sending that most definitely. I'm going to cover it tonight, then I'll send it in the uh, actual signal channel after we, uh, after we talk, okay? All right, so you guys are with me there. You understand what I mean? So let's use a live example here. Oh, long one. Let's use a live example. Okay, we're buying at 1.30465. So anything below that number, and that you're going to see the price where on your app, right here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you're going to see the price right here. So this is that. Let's say we were buying this market 1.2490. So anything you know less than that value, 1.246, 1.24. Five, you know, anything less. In a minute, I'm gonna teach you how you don't have to sit there and watch it. But if you had time to sit there and watch the price action and say you were not busy or you're on your computer or you're just looking at your phone, you can literally sit there and, and you know, kind of monitor the market to try to get exactly on. Now, it's kind of hard to get exact, and that's the thing. That's the other thing I want to mention. It's kind of hard to get the exact entry because the, the price is always moving, it's always moving. So again, you know, anything below, and if you can get exactly on, and I'll show you how to get exactly on, but anything below is good. Now, vice versa, if we're selling, let's say we were selling this market, and the price was right here already. And we were going, we closed out, I closed the trade right here at 46 pips, 48 pips, 46 pips. And by the time you got to your signals channel, the price from 1.0752 was already at 1.0052. And I closed out. And whereas we got about 48 pips, you only got 22 pips. You know why? Because you got in below the sell. You got in when the bus already left the station. Okay? Now, let me explain how the smoke gets in your face by trying to chase a bus that left the station. And remember, like I said, the price always moves around. It always fluctuates. If you guys are taking those trades already with some of your demos, you can see that you, you got in a trade. At one point, you were in positive. Then it put you in negative. One point positive, like back and forth, especially in the middle of the day. That's when the market doesn't move as much. And there will be trades that as a little period of time, we're negative, and then, you know, maybe an hour later, two, three, or maybe the next day, or maybe by the end of the week, we close out the trade. You just never know. Sometimes we're in a trade for over a week, for more than a week. I mean, into the next week. That's just the way the market is. That's just the way it is. That's why we take small lots. We'll explain the lots in a minute. But now, let's say you, the price was here when you, by the time you saw the signal, even though we entered the signal right here, and you enter this trade, and the market starts to go back up. What happens is you could find yourself in let's and let's say the market was right here. Let's say it was right here, but at that current time the market was here. So that means at that point you are negative eleven pips. You're negative eleven pips at that point. And the group is positive 12 pips. So I might say in the group, hey guys, the USDCHF, we're in positive, baby, we're in the positive. And you're like, whoa, what do you mean in the positive? I'm in negative, my screen is red. Oh, Shane wanted a scam, he wanted a scam. I know it, I know it, it's too good to be true. It's too good, all this money talk. <laughs> It's not that we run the scam. Guess what happened? You entered the trade the wrong time at the wrong price point. You entered right here when the signal was from right here. But your excitement got to you. 
And so you just jumped in the trade signal and just clicked on sell. You didn't even think about where the price was at the current time. You know, you were excited or whatever the case. And I'm only going over this stuff because I've seen it happen. In my, you know, over year of trading, I've seen it happen many a times. That's why we call it the art of taking the signals. Because you might say, well, you know, I'm only following the signals he gave me, but there's an art to it. There's actually, I give credit to folks who can take the signals the right way, you know? And folks who really get good at it, I see people making more money than me on a, a lot of times, a lot of times, because they know how to wait for that market to get back here somewhere. Then they'll enter. They won't even enter right here. They'll wait for it to get back here. And when I post my results, maybe I made 50 bucks or whatever, $100 or 200 or whatever the case, and they made, you know, $300 or whatever. You just never know because of what their entry was. And that's the key. That's the most important thing when it comes to forex trading is your entry. Your entry. Let's say, let's say we entered a buy right here, and this, this move, this move of the market was if you enter this candle right here, that move was about 45 pips. But if you got in the trade right here in the middle, you didn't catch the whole move. You only caught half of it for about 21 pips. You understand? So that's why I say your entry is key. All right. You guys understand you guys still with me there? You can tap tap one in your uh tap one in the chat if you're still with me, if you're following me there. Didn't lose anybody. Okay, Mark is with me. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Mike has it. Kassan still here. Okay. All right. All right. Or, or. I gotta get this name right. I saw Orinthia. Orinthia. Did I say it right? Orinthia. Okay, I got it right. I saw your comment today. Or Neil. Okay, Neil. I think Kerwin invited you to the opportunity, right? Because he told me, he, he mentioned your name. He, he said something about Neil. Okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, so yeah. The entry is key. The entry is key. The entry is key. And again, um, so let's go back to our signal. That's the price. So the first thing we covered was buy. Neil, I think, came in a little bit late. I am recording this session, guys. So you will be able to rewind it over and over and over and the parts that you might have missed, you can um, always check it out, okay? But first thing we start is the buy. We're buying, the price is going up. If we're selling, it's going down. And if we're selling up the position, doesn't mean that you have to own it already, okay? I just want to clear that up as well. Okay, that's next. <laughs> that's next. Mark is on the second position. Now, in this case right here, we were buying the USDCAD, the second position. What had happened, guys? Let's say we were selling at this point right here. And the market happened to go up here against us about 50. Let's say that's, let's say that's, uh, that right there is 23 pips. 23 pips. But it went against us. But we noticed you start seeing a formation that looks like this where, okay, the market went up, but then we saw the candle start going back down, even though our entry was right here. So a lot of times what we'll do, we will add a second position on the trade. And this is why we use small lot sizes here. We, we use what we call one fifth of the normal lot sizes that a lot of traders will take. Get something to drink. Excuse me. Yeah, we're going to cover the lot size next. But we use one-fifth of the normal lot size per position. And this is done strategically. Because if the market goes against us, we don't get worried. We actually look for, I, get, I don't get excited, but, you know, this gives us the opportunity to make even more money versus the price going into profits immediately. The reason is, okay, when it gets me 20 pips and it started coming back down, guess what? I just compounded my profits. Because by the time it gets, that, let's say we closed out right here, and that means that first position, you'll see me put it in the signals channel. Our first position, we closed out 55 pips, and guess what? 
our second position, we closed out 80 pips, giving us a total of 135 pips on the trade. How sweet is that? So we turn, and that's what I call looking adversity dead in the face and dealing with it and being okay with it. You know, I've learned different strategies of trading, and here we don't use what they call a stop loss. A stop loss basically is what traders will use. And let me show you what it looks like. Let me show you how you were able to set up a stop loss. All right, well, okay, yeah, it's going to come up. All right, it's going to pop up, but basically, you, I'm, in this case, I have buy. I have a buy on it. So what happens is you move this, you move this cursor back. You see that red thing is supposed to stay up there. It's going to stay up there. But um, if the market went against me 24 pips, in this case, because I'm buying, you see I'm buying, This is a demo on camera I'm just using for uh, recruiting or for orientation purposes. So it takes a little bit longer. If there's a live account, it stays up there immediately. All right. So it would stay there. So what happens if, if this market moved from here to down here to protect the losses, it would just kick you out of the trade. So if you were down, let's say negative five dollars or whatever the case might be, then you would it would take the five. There you go. It would take them five dollars uh, in this case right here. That would be because I have a dollar. That'd be ten dollars and eighty-three cents if it went to get me twenty-one pips. And so it would basically, if you had a hundred-dollar account, you'd be down to eighty-nine dollars because you have a stop loss. If the market goes here, then it stops you out. Now what happens is I used to find trading with a stop loss the most frustrating thing is. Because nobody can predict the market. Nobody knows exactly what it's going to do. We do make educated decisions, but nobody knows exactly what the market is going to do when it's going to do it. So what I used to find is the most frustrating thing is to see the market come right down here, right on your stop loss, kick you out, and then bounce up and go right, and you wake up in the morning, the market is up here. And you're like, where's my profits? Why am I down $10? because the market knocked you out of the trade and then went back up. I mean, you start thinking that these market makers are just personally attacking you. I mean, I'm telling you, that's how it gets the feeling. They just, I'm the only one, they're just focused on me. They just, I'm telling you how many times when I used to use a stop loss, the market comes right here on the stop loss, knocks you out and goes right back in the profits. Most frustrating thing in the world. And I, it have, used to happen over and over and over again until I found that video that I'm su suggesting that you guys watch after you go to babypips.com and get the basics of Forex. Go to our, our YouTube channel and look at that video, How to Kick Ass in the Forex Market. When I watched that video, it changed my trading career from that day. From that point on, I started winning on the trade. This is why we have the record here on the highway to freedom, we in the, in the last eight weeks we've closed out on three thousand eighty three pips, and we've only taken two losses for a total of thirty three pips. The records are there. Now there are trades that we've been in the negative, and last week was kind of rough. I'm not gonna lie because they had what they call NFP, and the market was a little. It did things that it doesn't normally do based off of technical analysis because what happened was fundamental analysis took over. Uh, and you guys are going to learn about the difference in fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Fundamental analysis is based off of news factors in the world. So in Europe last week, they had uh, the ECB, the Euro Central Bank. A lot of out things were coming out, and it just made the market do things that were not normal. But we're still in the trade. We didn't lose on those trades because, one, we used the proper lot size, and we didn't use a stop loss. So, again, instead of getting stopped out on those trades, you use a smaller lot size so that your account can handle the drawback on the trade, on the account, on the trade. You understand? So that when the market starts going back your way, 
you can add a position. So instead of only getting, in this case, I think that was 40 some, 48 pips, it went against you here, you added a position, now you got 80 pips on this one, and you got 40 something pips on that one, I think it was 50, and it gives you a total of 130 pips that you closed out by facing adversity, by playing smart, by using a smaller lot size and adding positions to it as you go. That video, that YouTube video I talked about, is gonna talk about that. It's gonna explain the philosophy behind that in more detail. But to answer your question, I think it was uh, Mark, this is why, this is what the second, third, fourth, fifth position is all about. Those are what they are about. Now imagine you had five positions open and then they all went into profits. Imagine how much you're compounding by that point in time. You see what I'm saying? And this is how we get a lot of that 3,083 pips. That's how we got a lot, a lot of those pips is by, you know, adding positions and trades that went against us. Okay, you guys still with me? Let me get a one in the chat group or just a yes or whatever. Makes sense? You guys like the way that sounds? Cool. All right, cool. Keep it coming. I'm coming. Can I get an amen? <laughs> you sound like me in church. Mark said, keep it coming. I can see you in the pulpit now. Preach, preach, preach. <laughs> Starting to get the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the Holy Forex Ghost. All right. So that's what the second position is all about. All right. And so this, and with that being said, Adon, I don't want you guys to get nervous when you get, you see the market goes against us. Um, okay. As, as long as you're using the proper lot size, as long as you're using the proper lot size is key. Now, Forex is the most highly volatile market in the game. It's the, has the most, uh, you make the, it ha, it's the most, uh, what's the right word to use? The most exchanges are happening most currencies being traded it's like i said it's a 5.3 trillion dollar industry let me just give you the, the outlook on it right here uh, oh i don't have that charter but anyway you the forex market is the most highly lucrative market out here compared to the stock market or any other market the futures market or any other market like i said it's 5.3 trillion dollars a day that's being traded so you're able to make a lot of money but guess what you start using the wrong lot sizes you can lose a lot of money. There's no sympathy for you in the Forex. There's no, let me call my broker, if something happened wrong, I need to get my money back. There's no refunds. Once it's gone, it's gone. So what I try to always emphasize to guys, because it's, it's tempting to get greedy. And let's go to the lot sizes now, let's go there. So that brings us right here to the lot side. When you start trading, this is how much you need to trade depending on your equity, equity, not your balance, but your equity. If you have a hundred to a two hundred dollar account, basically a hundred to one ninety nine at point oh one. Once it hits two hundred, then you start doing a point oh two. Five hundred to seven hundred, point oh four. From 400 to 499, a 0 .04. From 500 to 599.05. .05. You guys get the gist? It's like basically like one tenth of whatever the equity of your account is. Is the lot size you should use per position. Okay. So again, $500 to 599, a .05 per position, and so forth. $1,000, .10. I'm going to explain the value of these in a, in a quick second. 2,000, 0.20. 2,000 to 2,999, 0.20. 3,000, 0.30. You get it? 4,000, 0.45, 7, 10, uh, move, 5, 5. All right? Then when we get to 10,000, you start trading with a $1 lot. Now, the thing about it is, with Trader's Way, the reason we like to use them because you can have a $500 account and they will let you use a $1 lot size. Let me see, I forgot to put that up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up right now. 
I'm gonna I'm I'm show you guys exactly what uh, lot size, the value of them, what that's all about, okay? Uh, got you guys going in my files and stuff. I think I got any naked pictures up here. <laughs> I'm just playing, <laughs> I'm just playing. My wife could kill me. All right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, where we getting to? Where did I put it? 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 Uh, I'm supposed to be prepared to give me. I don't think I put it there. Nope. Give me one second. One second. There we go. <clears throat> We're gonna go into what lot sizes are. And the value, the worth, the value of them, so you can understand. Okay, so we have what they call a micro lot, a mini lot, and a standard lot. So anything from 0.01 to 0.09 is considered a micro lot. Okay, so when you're trading from $100 up to $900, you guys are going to be using micro lots. So a 0.01 lot size is worth 10 cents per pip. 10 cents per pip. So if we close out 50 cent and we close out 50 pips, you made 50, I mean, you made $5 on that trade. So you had $100, closed out 50 pips on the trade, you made Five percent of your of your account of your investment, okay, and that's great. That's awesome. You don't get that at a bank. You don't get that at institute financial institution, regular financial institution, making five percent within a day or a week or whatever the case might be. All right, from point one zero to uh, point nine nine would be considered a mini lot. And go back to the micro lot, 0.02 would be 20 cents per trade. 0.03, 30 cents. 0.04, 40 cents. You get the gist. Okay? 0 0.1, 0 0.1 is a mini lot, which would equivalent to a dollar. So when you get to $1,000 and you start using a 0 0.10 lot size, it's going to be a dollar a pip. So the person who closed out 50 pips would make $50. So you make $50 on your thousand. Then when your account hits $10,000, you're going to start using a standard lot, 1.0, where that's equivalent to $10 a pip. So the person that closed out on 50 pips, they closed out on $500. Same holds true. A $2 lot, $20 a pip. $3 lot, $30 a pip. Same with the mini lot. A 0 0.20, $2 a pip. 0 0.30, three, uh, $3 a pip, and so forth. You guys get it? 0 0.40, $4 a pip. Now, let me explain why using the proper lot size is crucial. Life and death. With Trader's Way, you can have a $500 account, and they will allow you to use a 1.0 lot size. They'll allow you to the 2.0 lot size. They'll allow you to do that. And I, I can't stop you. Nobody can stop you. And this is why I tell people don't trade the record because some of the trades coming through and you're closing out pips and stuff. You're like, whoa, man, these signals are hot. He's good. He's good. He's good. I'm going to up the end. I'm going to over leverage. I'm going to go for the gusto. I mean, because look. Let's say you have $500 in an account. You put a dollar lot on there. The thing goes 50 pips. Boom, you just doubled your account in one trade. You went from 500 to 1,000 in one trade. And you do have the ability to do that. But you can't let greed get in the way. Because I'm telling you, you might win sometime, but it's the times that you lose that makes it not even worth the while. And I'm only speaking from experience. I'm only speaking from experience. So, um, like Femi always says in his presentation, we are get rich slow. We let these profits compound. 
But the, once that compound effect starts kicking in, you'll be amazed how it starts to blow you up. He likes to use the example of if you take a penny and double it. They say, they, they say if I can give you a million dollars or one penny doubled every day, which one would you take? A lot of people say, give me a million dollars. I don't want a penny doubled every day. But I'll give you a penny doubled every day for 30 days, or I'll give you a million dollars right now. A lot of people want the million dollars right now. But the person who took the penny doubled every day is actually the wise one. Because if you take a penny and double it every day for 30 days, guess what? After 30 days, you have $10,700,000. You can do the math. So in our cases, if you were to take $200 in the pathway to predictable profits, the, Forex, the P390 Forex system that we're putting everybody on, where you're averaging about 5% per day on your trade, averaging. Some days are more, some days are less, but averaging. So if you started with a $200 account, let me see if anybody can answer this for me in the chat. If you started with a $200 account in your investment and you earn 5% a day, 25% a week, basically doubling your account every month, how much would you end up with at the end of 12 months? I'll let you throw that in the chat. It'll blow your mind. So Neil said $2,400, $2,400 at the end of 12 months. Remember, Neil, we're doubling that account every month. Jeff said a lot of money. <laughs> we're doubling that account every month because we're getting 5% a day, 25% a week, which will be 100% a, a month. Let me just go ahead and tell you, if you started with $200 and you follow that theory, Small gains like that, but when that compounding effect takes place, do the math on your calculator, that's $819,000 at the end of 12 months. I repeat, and you can do the math yourself, but you can take $200 and go to $819,000 and $200 at the end of 12 months by just going for a little bit by a little bit, a little bit by a little bit, a little bit by a little bit, okay? And we'll talk about that more in a few, okay? But this is why we use this lot, we use the proper lot size. Because again, Mark said, yeah, you're right. <laughs> again, again, if you had $500 and the market went up in your favor of 50 pips, you just made $500 on your $500. But guess what? If it went against you 50 pips, guess what you did? You just blew your account. You're the zero. You're back to square one. If it went against you 30 pips, guess what? You have $500, now you're down to 200. You just, you're, you're down $300 of your account because you're using this. You're down $300 versus using the proper lot size. In the case of 500, you're using a 0.05. So if it went against you 30 pips, you're down, what? Uh, what's that? $15. You know? All right, so. I think I did the math right. I'm not math not my major thing, but all right, you get the point. All right. So this is why we let me go back to the chart. This this is why this is so crucial, so crucial, especially because we don't use a lot of, uh, stop loss. And again, the reason we don't use a stop loss because we don't, you know, we don't want to lose unnecessarily. We don't want to lose unnecessarily. So we combat that by using a smaller lot than most normal traders probably would use. And then when it goes against us, we add positions where you see second position, third position, blah, 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 blah. Okay? All right. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Okay, all right. So, boom. Now, where do I put the lot size on the chart? Let's see, we got something. Boom, 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 boom. Mike, you have a question. Go ahead, Mike, shoot. Hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, cool, awesome. Well, um, I think I, it's just a question about um, the 
the numbers were on the meta trade at? Um, I mean, is this a general question or just pertaining to the lot size? Pertaining to what we came up with so far. Okay, no, I'll wait because I, uh, my question is something completely different. So, okay, not a problem. Thank you, brother. No problem. So let's move it right along. So, uh, where do we put the lot size? And that's the next part, right? That's the next. Where do you put the lot? Oh, right there. Yep. So you see right here, this is where you put your lot size and you just basically type it in. They give you an option to put, if you're doing a standard 1.0, if you're doing, you know, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, whatever according to your lot, you just type it in right there. Don't worry about the negative and the plus. It's going to give you an option to just type it in, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, whatever lot size you're using. Okay. All right. Right. This right here is where you would put a stop loss, which we really don't use. And if you wanted to put a take profit, let's say you could put a take profit for 50 pips. And then when the market gets 50 pips, it'll close you out with your profits. So some of you might decide to go in that, go into putting a take profit. But what I do, I basically close out the trade for us. So I'll, I'll signal in the channel, um, we're closing out, close the trade 60 pips. But let's say you're going to sleep that night and you don't want to, you just want to put it at 100 pips just in case the market goes up 100 pips while you're sleeping. Then you can type in that price point right there. Once you go to babypips.com, www.babypips.com, it'll teach you about the pips and how to count the pips and different things of that nature. If you're using, it's kind of hard to count pips on your phone. You have to do it manually. If you're using your computer, you basically click on this crosshair right here and you could just boom. Like that's 60 pips. So you would look at the number on the right side of that, 1.10366, and then you would type that into the green area. That green area on your meta, on your app. And so whenever the market went up 1.01, .01, when it went up 60 pips, it would automatically take you out of the trade. All right? That's that's what that area is about. But I really haven't been teaching that as much because uh we just I put it in the signal channel. We close out now. All right. And that's what this looks like. In this case right here, close USD JPY second position, 61 pips profit. And that's how they all look. Money in the bank, you know? We close out the EURCH of that case was 20 pips profit. And you'll see that come through the signals channel that looks just like that, okay? Moving right along. What else? So that's about it. That's how you take the signal, guys. Of course, if you guys are not in our Facebook group, most of you should be. I think your sponsors probably put you in there already. But if you're not, you can just click on this uh, link at the end of the signal, and it'll take you to our Facebook group. What we wanted to do is kind of get you guys to start sharing your profits. So you can like take a screenshot of your profits and put in the Facebook group because, you know, we're new. We're new to opening this opportunity up to the public. We've only been going strong for eight weeks far as uh, this being something that we opened up to the public. And we're in our building stages right now. You guys are really the uh, trailblazers of what we're doing here. you like that first group of people coming in. I look forward to the time where I can say, man, I remember when uh, Cassandra was brand new and now her account is up to $5,000 and she is leading the way and teaching people how to do this and sharing the opportunity. And we'll be able to look back on these days. You guys will remember these nights where you really didn't know much about anything. Next thing you know, we got Mike in there calling trades. Hey, guys, you should be buying the USDCAD right now. I see a setup. You know, this is what I look forward to. And this is the things that, like you see Lawrence last week closed out $1,500. I remember when Lawrence was brand spanking new, didn't know anything, less than a year ago. This guy is making money up and down the markets now, up and down the markets. He's one of our brightest examples of sticking to cons conservative lot sizes, staying disciplined, staying patient, and having his account grow over time. He took in 13 weeks from $200 to over $7,000, Lawrence did. From $200 while in that same system. So I'm not just speaking pie in the sky stuff here. I'm speaking things that we are accomplishing already on the highway to freedom. You know, um, we have other examples. Dottie's a young lady that's in our group. 
you know, she she did some amazing things. Like I was telling you guys, were you able to get even better results than the signals? Well, that when Dada used to be awesome at her entries. So when we put a signal in the group, she was good at letting the market go behind the entry and then adding these positions in behind the entry. And then when they would come out, when they would close out, she would, uh, you know, have extra positions in, giving her much more profits. And she, I remember one week she took $100. That one week alone, she made about $1,200. You know, in two or three weeks, she took that account to $5,000. $5,000 from $100. I kid you not. Because she was so sick with the entries. Now, she did kind of go heavy on some of that leverage, and we don't recommend it. But she had got to the point where she knew what she was doing. She knew how to trade. And, and so don't think if you're taking signals, that means you don't know what you're doing, so I have to follow. No. The signals are there for you. As you guys start to learn and really have our strategy down pat, you will be able to up the ante with these, with these, with these lot sizes. Don't get me wrong. You will be able to up the ante because you start seeing, like, for example, let me give you an idea. This area right here on this chart, now I know you guys are not going to know what I'm talking about, but this is what they call resistance. Because whenever the, the market hits the same area twice and falls, that establishes resistance at the roof of the market. This area down here is called support, the floor of the market. So you see how this market came, boom, bounced up. Came again, boom, bounced up and went up. It's letting us know it's, it's not breaking this area right here. So the trader who's skilled, again, you see that? Support. That's not a coincidence that the market hits there, hits there, hits there, hits here, and, and keeps bouncing up. Boom, bounced up, boom, bounced up, until it bounced up and broke out all the way to the top. So that trader who's pretty good, They'll look at this first and see it hit, see it hit. By the time it comes here, instead of using the smaller lot, they might go a little bit heavy because they see that the support has been established and they'll put a heavy lot size here and then get those pipped up. Or they might see resistance and see the market came, hit, bounced down, hit again, bounced down, hit again, came down, hit again, couldn't break that area. So they're saying this market is going to fall from that area and they might put a heavy lot size here and then get those profits down. By the time it gets here, boom, 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 and then they're going to ride it back up. So these are the things that you're going to learn as we go. What's support? What's resistance? But as the, as the word says on the signal channel itself, starting, when you start trading, this is how you should trade. Now, let me tell you, I'm very conservative with my trading, guys. As much as I can look at these things, I still stick to this right here. I still stick to it. <laughs> All right, so don't you know? I'm not telling you guys to get greedy, but we do, and you're in control of your money. So Dottie was confident and she was great at it, she was very good at it, and that's how she was able to compound her account so fast, like that. So fast, we had another guy, Earl Johnson. You might hear him say his name, and his first week he took a hundred dollars, like 600. Now he didn't know, he 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 was kind of like just didn't know. And he got lucky that week because he was just throwing in 50 cent trades on $100. So we was like, yo, what are you doing? Don't do that. He got lucky that the market didn't go against him because he would have blew that $100 real quick. But that week, you know, and then we had to talk with him say, no, 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 brother, no. I'm glad you made $600. Good start. But tone it down a little bit. All right? So trade at your own risk. But again, this is what we put here. For a reason, stick to it, and you will grow over time. It's not a get rich fast. It's not the casino. When you see people doing that, they're a casino. That's when you call it, you hear people say, oh, you're a day trader, or you're in the foray, oh, you're gambling, you're gambling. We're not gamblers. We're not gamblers. We make educated decisions with proper risk management. There's a difference in gambling and, and, and trading in the Forex markets the proper way. Gambling is using larger lots because if it happens to do something a little bit go against you, you're going to blow your account, okay? There's a difference. All right, so let's go back to the signal, see if anything else I need to cover with regards to that. That's it right there. Now, with what I said, 
We have Neil, Cassandra, Ivan, Jeffrey, Mark, Mike, and Neil, Mike, Mark, Jeffrey, Ivan, Cassandra, and I think I said everybody. Any questions? Do you guys feel that you could take a trade with the information that you received tonight? Neil said yes. Cassandra said yes. Mark said I could. I'm ready to do it. He said, show me how to do this, son. Mike said, yes. Okay, awesome. That means I did my job. Uh, talk about the stops and the limits. Thank you, Jeff. Man, I love you guys, man. You some sharp people, man. You some sharp people. I've been blessed to meet you guys. Yes, I forgot about that, <laughs> actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, like I said earlier, and this, like I said earlier, we can add some automation to our trades so that you're not having to sit there and stare at the market and wait for it to come back to the entry. You guys are working during the day. That's why I'm home on the computer. I like to call it in my cave on the computer, watching the charts for us. That's my position on the highway to freedom. So you can go about your business and still make the money until you have a little bit more freedom where if you want to, you can, you know, turn this into a full-time gig. But this is why we have what we call buy stop, sell stop, buy limits, and sell limits. Now, where are you going to find this on your MetaTrader 4 app is right here. If you, first it's going to say market execution. If you click that button, you're going to see these drop downs appear that look like this right here. Buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. And today you saw me put in some signals there. You saw me put in some signals there that had buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. Okay, let's talk about it. Excuse me. So again, let's say we were buying this market, what happens to be the USD CHF. And the price, the price was up here. And you don't want to sit there and wait. And we entered at 1.00754. The current price is 1.00927. You don't have time to sit there and stare at your phone and wait for the market to come back down here. So what you would do, we're buying it. You would put a buy limit, a buy limit. And this illustrates what a buy limit is. Imagine this, this blue line is the entry. This area right here is where the price currently is. So what happens is you basically click a buy limit. Excuse me, you click a buy limit on your MetaTrader 4 buy limit. That's gonna give you the option to actually type in where you want your entry to be. After you click it, it's going to give you an area. It's going to think it's going to say price. You type in the price where you want to enter the market, and you click uh, at the bottom. It's going to say something something about uh, place. Place the order. You click that button, and you go back to handling your business. That'll be a, what they call a pending trade. So like this demonstrates, when the market goes back down to the price, it will automatically put you in the trade. It could go down a little bit lower sometimes, but it'll automatically put you in the trade once the market comes here. And so once it goes back into profit, you're in the trade. You don't have to worry about missing the trade because you put in a buy limit. Vice versa with the buy stop. Let's say the market was down here. Now, like I said earlier, if it's below the entry price, you can take, you can take the trade. There's nothing wrong with taking the trade exactly where I put it. Sometimes the market is going down against us and you take the trade, you're going to put yourself more negative. So you want to wait for it to get back up to the entry because what that symbolizes, if the market was lower, that's symbolizing that at that point in time, the market is tend to be going back up. So you might see me put a buy stop or buy limit, or you might just want to put the buy stop, but it's just, it's just the opposite. If the market is below the entry, when the market comes back up, and hits the price, 
it will automatically put you in the trade so that you know you don't have to sit there and watch your phone vice versa with the sell limit and the sell stop they say the blue line is the entry price but the current price was up here when the market comes down through the entry it'll automatically put you in the trade sell limit the blue line is the entry price we put in the signals the price currently is lower than what the entry price happens to be when the market goes back up hits the entry it will automatically put you on the trade automatically okay so again i'm recording this you might have to you know go back a couple times to get it but this chart nicely demonstrates it if you guys want this chart i can send it to you as well I'll send it to you on telegram if you want just to have it in your records or something like that if you want to print it out and put it on your wall or whatever the case might be let me see mark lewis said yeah okay mark i'll send you the chart no problem buddy okay so uh um yeah that's Please do, Cassandra. Okay, no problem, no problem. Let me just leave the chat up so I can see over there. All right, so yeah, that's and that, that's that's a great tool, especially if you're at work, you know, you're sneaking on the phone real quick. <laughs> just send it to all, I'm gonna send it right now, Jeff. Jeff is the boss, man. Jeff don't play, man. So just send it to all of us, man. He put an exclamation, exclamation mark after it. Nah, he didn't. <laughs> just send it to all of us and stop playing. Yes, sir, Jeff. No problem, Jeff. No problem, man. I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to send it right now. Right now, matter of fact. Uh, I'm going to send it in the Signals channel. Give me two seconds. Uh, two seconds right now. I'm going to send you the lot size one. I'm gonna put it in the regular group, the regular group. So you guys are having it in the regular group. Okay, so that's the lot size. It just came through. You can download it on your phone. Where did I save that? 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 Two seconds, guys. Two seconds. Chris said, Thank you, sir. Okay, if I can't find it right away, I'll, I'll uh, probably email it back to my phone and uh, I'll make sure I get it out to you guys. We got two moon pictures on here. And uh some hard to keep aware of the things. Okay, I don't want to hold everybody's time is late. So I'll send I'll make sure I get it out to you guys. Don't worry. All right, but so far you do have the uh the uh the lot size and things like that okay all right so any questions so far that, that i think that thanks jeff thanks jeff uh for and mike i'm not going to forget i'm not going to forget that's that's next the p390 forex and we'll close out with that but i think everybody should be able to take the trades now and what i'm going to suggest is you guys start off with a demo account start off with your demo even if you're verified with your live account until you get comfortable taking the trades Start with your demo account for like a week or two. See how the profits come and get used to, you know, the feel of taking trades and what the potential, what could happen, what do, does happen from time to time or whatever the case might be. Get comfortable with closing them out and things just to make sure you get in the groove. Just like any job, you know, you don't just start day one and just start, you know. You go through a training and, you know, whatever the case might be. I, you know, I have an insurance background. I remember my first day, first we were in the office, they recorded me, we watched it, the recording of myself doing a presentation. Then I went out on the field with a manager. He wa I watched him then, you know, so that's the same, pro the same process. Go ahead, Mike, what's that question, my brother? 
Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Now I have um I, I picked up the trades that you um you put in today. The last one I think I, I went into it. I was sitting there uh, watching it, man, waiting for it to go lower with the 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 buy that you're sending in with the AUD US, I mean AU USD. Yeah, we were selling that one. Yeah, I was waiting for that, man, but it, I, I think I got in late on that. But the 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 main thing is is just that right now when I'm looking at my um my chart it's telling me so basically everything that's in the blue is profits correct blues profits red really? is negative so I'm in the red, negative right? on the gu mm -hmm. and if you guys yeah. saw me demonstrate that in the uh, chart i put i did say more than likely it's going to go down first yeah 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 pop back up now speaking of which so that's when we're going to get into that second position when it goes back up correct exactly so now when it goes back up now Let's say you say you send a signal for us to close out of it, right? Now we're closing out of it. Do we have to close out of each position individually? Good question. Yes, you do. Okay. All right. All right. That's what my concern, because I'm like, if we have like, let's say two positions or three positions on there, I mean, I need to know, like, you know, that's what I, okay, cool, cool. Good question. Good question. Uh, yeah, you're going to close out each position individually. And let me talk about that. The way you close out a trade, you're going to see, you're going to see in your position, your position is going to look like this. This is an example of a trade I was in. You're just basically going to hold down on the trade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give you an option and say close position. And you just close, and hit that button that says close. You close out and you're good to go. Okay. Now that, that buy, buy limit, I mean, buy stop. What's it? That term you just, uh, the buy stop and the sell stop that you just showed us. I'm looking for that icon where it says market ex execution. Yeah, hit it. Press it. No, but I'm saying, do I have to? So basically, I go to the quotes. Once I'm in the quotes, I hit the pair. And then from there, I'll be able to get the market execution because I'm trying to find it. Yeah, you hit the pair. And I think it says, um, see, order. Trade. I see trade chart details and cancel. Trade, hit trade. Oh, mine says new order. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I see when I hit trade, now I see market execution on the top. Hit click, market execution. Click market execution. Got you. I see it. Buy limits up. Done. All right. Got you, brother. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Uh, all right, so now the last thing I got right here. Now, all the way at the top with all my trades, I see balanced margins, equity, free margin, le margin leverage. On the top, I see there's this 1.57 1, 1. USD out of the four trades, but uh, all the trades have the, are in the blue except for the, the one, the, the GB. GU. Yes, but on the top in bright blue, I see a 1.69 that's fluctuating back and forth. What's that number right there? You're a dollar and 69 cent in profits. That's my total profits. Gotcha. Is, it, right. is it right over here? Like right over here? Where are you looking? No, no. See, mine is at the top. When you see, I have the balance, I have equity, and I have free margin, but right there at the top. Keep going. Where you see that 183.97 at the top? Go to the top and to the middle, to the right of it. That's where mine is. Okay. Uh, that's your total profits. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Now so I you get one hundred eighty-three dollars. How much? What, was, what does it say? Mine says one point. Let me see. If it's one dollar, some change in profits. You one point five three because I think my um you my lot my lot size is still hold on. Let me see what mine. Point oh one. Yeah, I'm still at point oh one. So I didn't. Yeah. Is that a demo or a live account? Demo, my friend. Demo. Good. Okay. And what is the what's the balance of the account? Uh, it says balance is one thousand. So you you really technically should have been using up um point one oh lots, ten cent lots, a, a micro lot. Yeah, that's where I had it at from the beginning. Let me see. How do I change it? <laughs> I did not. You said mini lot. You should be using mini lots. Oh yeah, because it's a thousand, right? So yeah. I'm still, I'm still because it's point oh one. I'm still using micro lots. So how would I? Okay, to go change my lots. Hold you can't on. change it now once you're in the trade. You can't oh, okay. Change another trade. So for the time being, just leave it like that. You know, just to get the feel of what a point oh one would look like. 
Understood. You might start with a small amount, which I do recommend you guys start small. I don't care if you have ten thousand dollars to invest with. Start small and build it gradually. You know what I'm saying? Use the house money. Use the money that you earn to make more money off of it. Even if you have ten, twenty, fifty thousand, I don't. As time goes, you get comfortable. If you want to throw some more money in as you go, not a problem. But to get started, I recommend personally. Now you can do what you want to do. It's your money, your investment. Do what you want to do. And I just recommend because I started large when I started this game. I started with I threw five thousand in, had a great trade, made about fifteen hundred dollars on my first trade. I was so excited. The next day, I threw another five thousand dollars in the account. Guess what? In a few weeks happened. I blew that account. I blew ten thousand mm. dollars. Real story. I don't want that to happen to none of you guys. I hear you. I'm learning, taking my bruises, my bumps, and one of the worst things that could ever happen to trade is that you have success early. Because when you have success early, you're expecting it all the time, and you disrespect the market. Absolutely. You think it's a sweet game, like oh, this is easy, man, easy money. Mm -hmm. And you start over leveraging it and, and you're not really know what you're doing yet. Mm -hmm. And boom. So that's what happened to me. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm, I'm so strict about telling you guys the right lot size to use and stuff like that. And, you know, so that you don't find yourself in the position of many great traders. Now, the ironic part about that, all the great traders I know, they have the same story. <laughs> they blew accounts. They blew accounts. I've heard of guys blow. I knew a guy, my mentor actually blew six figure account. Six figures. Imagine six figures. I'm ready to jump off the roof. Well, I got you. This guy's not, you know, worried about that now. <laughs> so now let me ask you a last question, brother. Um, let's say now you're saying I can't change my margin because I'm in the trade right now. So let's say a new signal come in and I wanna I wanna change my margin for this new trade. Yeah, you wouldn't be changing it on a new trade. You'd just be entering the lot size you want to use. You wouldn't be nothing to tr change because that would be a new position. Okay, so yeah, because of the new position, then I'll be able to okay, make sense. You'd gotcha. be point one zero instead of point oh one. Okay, point one zero done. All right, that's awesome. key, guys. That's why you're gonna start with a demo because you don't want to put in the wrong lot. Again, this is where you're gonna type that stuff in. It's very easy to mistake the point oh one or, or and think you're hitting point oh one or whatever. And it's a dollar. You don't want to do that. You don't want. You want to make sure you're hitting the the right lot size. And because, like I said, it's very easy. I've done it before. Where I thought I put in one lot, and it was a total different one. I was like, oh boy, I hope it goes positive. I hope it goes positive. You know, you don't want to do that. So again, that's why you're going to start off with a demo for about a week or two, just to make sure you got the gist of things. All right. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Good question, though, Mike. Thanks, man. For awesome. Your other folks had those same questions. Any other questions, guys? You can unmute yourself. Let me hear you guys talk. If you do have any questions before I close up with the uh, P394X. All right. So I don't think anybody else has any questions. But those are good points. And you helped me remember something else, Mike. Um, always, sometimes we'll take positions and we take the next position. Because see, like in this case, well, in this case, I was in profits. But if if my balance was negative, my if my if this overall area was negative 183, mm -hmm. then what would have happened is my balance would have been higher than my equity. Why is that? Because this is minusing, it's minusing the actual the equity is the actual live account. The balance is what was the last figure before you took the trades. Gotcha, okay. The balance doesn't consider the fact of the live trades. You see, gotcha. that's why in this case, the equity is more than the balance. Before I took this trade, my balance was 10,807. Mm -hmm. After I took the trade, my balance came up. But if this was negative 204, then this would be 10,000, this would be 10,600, my equity, mm -hmm. based off the minus two from the 10,008. The balance stays the same until you close the trade. When I close, if I was to close that trade now, then that's going to go to 11000 It's going to add the $200. Okay, to true, true. So what I'm saying that for is when you put your lot size in, always put the lot size based on the current equity, not the balance, the current equity. Okay? Okay. Especially if the equity is less than the balance. 
especially if it's less than the balance. So, I, so speak, touching on that, so what's the worst that could happen? Let's say you have whatever your balance or your account is. Let's say you, speaking of blowing an account, let's say whether it's $100 or $200 and you're getting that leverage, and let's say you put your lot size to a point that, you know, an astronomical, astronomical number, and you end up blowing your account. You're only, are you just liable to that number of the, uh, the, the balance of your account, correct? Yeah. All right. So, not, I mean, you're not going to own traders' way. That's what I wanted to find out. Okay. Good question. Nah. You're just going to blow your, you're going to blow that balance. Gotcha. You have to deposit more money in your account. Gotcha. And as you said, you don't want to, you don't want to be doing that. That's gambling right there. That's gambling. Yeah. Gotcha. You might win sometimes. Don't get me wrong. You might win. Like the EUR USD hasn't been in negative all day. We're in positive on that trade, and it's been yeah. positive all day long. So, mm -hmm. you know, you would have, you know, been, you could have went high leverage on that one. But guess what? The GU is negative now. So you just never know which one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. go negative or positive first. So, I got you. Now, when you start, uh, when you guys, you know, like I said, if you, when you get confident to take your own trades, you start taking your own trades. If you want to raise your leverage, your leverage up a little bit, it's up to you. But I still, like I say, me personally, I still stick to the, the lot sizes that's illustrated. But it's going to be up to you. And, and if you get good at it, I'm happy for you. And I'm going to still cheer you on. Like, go, Cassandra, go. Get it, get it, get it, girl. I'm going to still root you on. And, but, you know, don't, you know, I'm just saying, disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got you. All right, brother. All right, good questions, Mike. Any other questions before we move on, guys? Okay, so everybody should be able to take a trade based off this information that we have here. Okay, so to close out, um, P390X Forex system, and I'm going to send this to everybody. It's an Excel sheet, and you're going to basically customize it to your situation now the importance of this chart yeah we all want to make money you come in why are you doing this i want to make some money but it's deeper than that we all should have goals you should all be speaking with your sponsor whoever recruited you you should be speaking with your sponsor once a week once a week talking about your goals and your results that you you had uh, that you have set forth this is not, we're not in this opportunity just to sign you up. We're in this thing to really grow together to a destination of freedom. We take this thing seriously. You might hear me joking around sometime or on Friday I do little videos, I'm rapping and stuff and on the keyboard, but that's just having fun. As far as the idea of getting financially free, we take that seriously. So, and your sponsor, because you guys, you know, we, get, we pay each other member to member. Our community, we take care of each other. We pay each other. When you guys recruit other folks and they're paying you, that money's spreading through our community. Just like the Jewish people do in their communities or the Italians or whatever community, they keep the money in their community. It seems like our, well, I don't know what ethnicities on this. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to go there. But, <laughs> but. No, but I got you. Don't, don't get me. I understand exactly what you mean. Guys, Okay, good. You guys understand what I'm talking about. You guys, so I don't have to go there. But the point is, following a system like this allows you to hold yourself accountable. It keeps you guided. It lets you see where you're going. And sharing this and talking with your sponsor is crucial. It's key. Because now you guys can hold each other accountable. You know what I'm saying? Make your sponsor work for that $100 a month. Make him work. And he doesn't mind. Trust me. Your sponsor doesn't mind. They take joy out of it. They take pleasure. They want to help you. You know? First of all, we're not looking at you as $100 a month. That's just your entry fee because we're hoping that you, you know, bring somebody else to pay you. We just want everybody to, you know. But the point is, one thing you should do, you... Have that conversation. If you guys are close, you guys go out to have lunch or dinner or something like that. If you have to talk on the phone, you talk on the phone, whatever you have to do. First thing you should do, you should be letting your sponsor know what are your goals? What are your goals? Why are you want to make money? Why are you doing Forex? 
Are you doing this to pay off your mortgage? Are you doing this to pay off student loans? Are you trying to buy a car? What are you trying to do? What are your goals? So that you can write those goals down. You both can keep those goals and you can work together towards them. Any plan is great, but if you plan, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So part of a plan is having goals. You guys know that. And it's great to have a partner to work towards them with. All right. Um, and like I said, you all have goals. And if you write them down, and, and especially if you're talking them out, it makes it easier to accomplish them. So let's take a look at this. Once you have your goals, how beautiful is it that you can literally say, let's say your goal is to, to uh, earn an extra, I don't know, well, to, to make 3000 2000 you want to get $2,000 because you're trying to, I don't know, pay off a bill. How sweet is it that you can say, well, in 48 trading days, starting with a $200 account, I'll be able to pay off this bill in 48 trading days because that's where it is right here. Sorry. 48 days. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. This chart is conservative. This chart is based off of closing 250 pips a week. You do the math. In the last eight weeks, we've closed 3,083 pips. That's 385 pips we're averaging a week. So if we keep up doing what we're doing, you would, you know, get surpass these goals. But the point is, this puts you in a position where you, well, that's what Femi coined it, the pathway to predictable profits. Taking yourself out of the unknown and putting yourself in a position where you know what your money is doing. You're literally in control of your money. You're in control of your financial forecast. You know the other thing that this does? Guess what, if I'm at $585 and I had an extra $200, the same way if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, same with your money. If you don't plan for your money, guess what? This is gonna float out of your pocket. You know how that's saying? Money just floats, you know, if you don't have a plan for your money, trust me, you, you'll find a way to, it's like money has an energy. There are people that actually says money does have an energy. But if you don't have a plan for that money, something's going to come up. Trust me, something will come up for you to spend that money on. Well, imagine this vehicle, let's say you at 22 days, you have an extra $200. Instead of saying, well, let me just go, let me go burn it on this. Let me go burn it on that. Not nothing you really need. Because remember, you have a goal, and you should be writing down goals that are really important to you. Imagine if you could throw an extra $200 in your account at that 22nd day. Remember, 48 days is, so right now you're positioned to get the 2,048 days. But at the 22nd day, when you hit the 585, you threw in an extra $200. Look what happened. Instead of waiting 48 days, you just kicked it up to... 42, you just brought this, you literally brought yourself an extra six days. You brought it. $200 advanced your getting to your goal of $2,000 six days with $200. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm getting at? So by seeing something like this, you can literally propel yourself through this chart much quicker. Because I guarantee you, if you know well, the little bit of extra cash that I have, I have a vehicle now that I can double it. I can, you know, compound it. I can make it grow faster. You know, I always wanted that as, as I was growing up. Man, I wish I had like a money machine where I could just put it in there and spit more out. Well, guess what? You have it now. You throw it in this machine and you just saw what happened. Six days from the 48th day. You jumped it up to the, the, uh, the 42nd day of trading. This is why some people get motivated about recruiting because that other part of our opportunity, the affiliate side, come on, 10 people is an extra $800 a month if you were to recruit 10 people. Because you have to pass up to, I know, Jeff, you didn't like that part. You don't have to pass. <laughs> but that's an extra 800 Imagine if you're taking that $800 
and throwing it in here. So imagine you went out and recruited 10 people by your 23rd day. Let me, let me go back. Let me, let's go back. So it was 585. By the 22nd day, you had earned the extra $800 in the affiliate. And you said, you know, I'm going to put it all into the opportunity. You don't have to, but you could. So that would make that 1385. And your goal is to get the 2000, let's just say. Boom. Brought yourself an extra 18 days. Now, instead of your goal hitting at the 48th day, now that goal literally got to 30, the 30 days. So eight days later, from the 22nd day, you put yourself in the position where you hit your goal by basically feeding the machine. You feed the machine. You put in, and it gives back. You give, you receive. You put in, you get back. You guys have a machine now. You respect it, and it'll take care of you. What I did, my mentor taught me when I started the insurance industry because, you know, I was pretty, I'm pretty good at it. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I was one of those top owners going on trips, Hawaii, been Aruba, Mexico twice, you know, Vienna, um, Vienna, Austria. And I didn't pay a dime for any of these trips because I used to sell so much insurance. And my mentor told me, Shane, you're making all this money, but, you know, um, how much money do you have to show for yourself at the end of a year? The first thing he did, he said, Shane, how long have you been working in your life? And at that time, I probably started working at 14, playing the piano in the church. And so at the time, maybe I was about, when I started insurance, maybe about 31, let's say 15 years I've been working. So he said, you've been working 15 years. If I had an investment for you right now, and I said, I, you need to come up with $15,000 for this investment, and we're going to double it. He said, could you go get $15,000 out of the bank? And at that time, I said, nah, man, I can't go get 15000 He said, but Shane, you've been working 15 years of your life. You're telling me you didn't save at least $1,000 a year? I said, nah, man, I didn't save $1,000. He said, all right, no problem, no problem, no problem. I still got, you can still get in on this investment, Shane. We're going to make some money on this investment, man. Go get $10,000 out the bank. Go get $10,000. I was like, oh, man, I can't even get $10,000 out the bank right now. Shane, you can't get $10,000 to work for 15 years, man. He said, all right, one last shot. Go get $5,000 off the bank, Shane, so you can get on this investment, man. And embarrassingly, I couldn't at that point in time get $5,000 off the bank. Yeah, I made, made plenty of money in my life, but I wasn't saving it. I was making and spending it, making and spending it. And there's that old saying, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. So at that point in time, he put me onto some different books, and one of them was called, um, what's the name of that book by Jeffrey Gittemore? I think it's uh, The Total Money Makeover. Some of you guys might have heard of it. The Total Money Makeover. Another one, an awesome book that he put me onto, and this guy is my mentor that I'm talking about. He's in the group. His name is Roy F. Williams. You might have saw him speak today. Another one he put me onto is called The, uh, the, 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 Something in Babylon. Oh, uh, the oldest man in Babylon or something. What's the name of the book? Something in Babylon. I'm going to get it for you guys. And it talked about a slave who earned his way to freedom. But one of the oldest philosophies out here is when you get paid, you should be putting at least 10% of your earnings away for investment. And that's what I started doing that day after he talked to me. He said, Every time you get paid, you should be putting a portion away. You should be paying yourself first. That was the theme of it. You should be paying yourself first. The first person that should be get paid is you. Your landlord, Michael Jordan sneakers, the Mercedes Benz, going out to eat at Red Lobsters, none of those things are more important than you. Think about it. Every time you spend money, you're giving somebody else you're saying that person is worth more than you so when i used to get paid the first i had a separate account so i had my rainy day account my my daily living account i had uh and my investment account and i had my get out of debt account that's the other part you got to get out of debt you got to get out of debt but my investment account i would put 10 so i made two thousand dollars that week two hundred dollars automatically went into that investment account. And at first you might be like, oh man, I gotta put 
But as you go and that account start growing, you start getting excited. Wow, man. I'm up to a thousand. I'm up to five thousand. I'm up to six thousand. And the beautiful part about it, 10% is really not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. So you will not miss that money from your lifestyle. 10% is not going to affect your lifestyle by putting it to the side. But if you don't put it to the side, it will affect your lifestyle over time. That leads to another book called The Slight Edge, but that's another topic. But over time, if you don't pay yourself first, it will affect your lifestyle down the road. Because then you'll find yourself like me 15 years later and don't have anything to show for it. Well, how sweet now that not only can you put it to the side for an investment, but now you have an investment vehicle that can make you more money. And again, it doesn't stop at Forex because now when you have this money working in Forex, there's other opportunities, real estate. You know what happens? Money is energy. So that when you have the money, it'll be, you'll think it's ironic that the opportunities start popping up. People will start finding you. Hey man, you know, opportunities just pop up. Like, man, nobody was coming to me with this before. I got $50,000 in my bank now. And all of a sudden, you know, I have this opportunity for that. I have the opportunity for that. I have, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to close on that note. I'm going to send out this chart to all of you guys. You can put your starting balance here and you can track yourself on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis. Okay. There's some other great little tools over here that you can use to track. Um, you know, if you're making hundred dollars a day, 40 hour work, that's worth $12.50, you know, weekly. And it breaks down little personal goals for yourself. Gives you a 30 day earnings calendar and you can put in at the end of week one, this is what I made week two and it goes all the way goes all. I mean, you can customize this chart for your own liking, you know, customize it to fit your, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. And then you go over this with your, uh, your, uh, your, your person who refers you, you go over this with them on a weekly basis and you guys work together towards hitting those goals so we can create some more testimonials. But more importantly, you can really say this vehicle called the highway to freedom took you where you wanted to go because we're not about, you know, empty promises here. And we're not even promising. We're giving you the opportunity to take advantage of yourself. You have to put the work in, though. But if you do the little things, we'll get there together, guys. We'll get there together. And I look forward to that. So with that being said and done, I just want to welcome everybody on the team again. It's such a pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with you all. And, uh, you know, we're going to get to the top again together. All right? And we'll take it from there. If there's no other questions, you guys have a great night. And... See you in the chat. I'll see you in profit. See you in the top. Any other questions before we go? I think we we straight. All right. Good night, Cassandra. Good night, guys. <clears throat> Thank you, Mark. And I'll send the recording for this out. Or if you guys want the record, yeah, I will send the recording and I'll send other things that you guys need as well. All right, guys. Have a good night.